Welcome to the 41st tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to wrap it. In this video, we'll be doing a solar study analysis. Using any existing model you have, in this case, I'll be using a project model that I already have. Now, let's immediately start off by going to a default 3D view, which is right here by clicking this button, and going to the hidden line display to make things much more simpler and faster, which is this one right here. Now again, here at the view control bar, let's toggle the sun path and shadows to on, which is this one right here. And just click use the specified project location date and time instead. Then, this one as well. Now, if your device seems to hang or stagger a bit, that's fine. Wait a few couple of seconds and it should run normally. Zooming out, you would notice that a compass had appeared with a sun direction that's called a sun path right here. And if it's kind of slightly larger than normal as what you would see, that's fine. We'll tinker around it a bit. First, click your sand path object here. And here, select maybe 100 to make things smaller. And unfortunately, 100 is the smallest. And if I were to choose 10 like so, it would give me a Revit bar saying that, you know, you got to choose 100 to 500. So, moving on. Also, the shadow right here isn't necessary for a seal study, but it helps. Feel free to turn it off and on like so if it makes your model slower. Now, let's click the icon here again, which has the sun and bulb icon. Then, if you were to select the solar study, it just simply shows you a new ribbon here, which I will go into more in the next video. For now, we'll be going into sun settings. Now, here in sun settings, Starting off, yours probably have a different setting than mine, but that's fine. We'll play around with it. This video will only be focusing on the still study and your preset should be the same as mine. If not, simply just click whatever you have and just duplicate it like so. Now, I might be wrong. The sum result is I believe is the same wherever, but it's just that the timing is different. Also, Make sure that you have your still icon clicked like so, as this is what the one will be focusing. Now, let's start off with the location. Again, yours might be different, but since I'm in Canada, I have this right here. But let's say we're in Waterloo, and we want to change it with what a Waterloo has. So, just click on this button right here. If your window is smaller than mine, just select here, and you will see that your icon will change, and so you can drag it like so. It would hang and slow a bit, but that's fine. Now, here in project address, um, change the postal code to something else. Let's see. N2G, 1G4 would be a great option. Now, click search, and it will automatically change. Now, that should properly change our sun path automatically. And if I were to press OK here, and press apply, as you see, things will change. Also, if I were to change the time to, let's say, 12 and go to 7, that will change as well. Also, you can do that manually by clicking OK and going back to your model. Just making sure I have it selected. There we go. Now, you can drag the sun like so. As you see, it's a little bit slow, but you can move it and it will change the shadow as well as the sun itself. Now, with that done, let's go ahead and rename our solar study into something else. Let's first duplicate it and rename it into maybe 3D first still solar study or... All right, now let's try and do a new one going back here to sun settings and let's say we had we let's say we don't have this other tree right here and we only have a summer solstice or rather first solar study and we wanted to have a new one we simply just have to duplicate it and let's say second or whatever you want then Let's change the date to maybe um, October, October 20, 
and the time is what did we have the first one it's also 12 so highly suggested that this would be 12 as well and press apply now we have two studies we gotta go do again and duplicate this one like so and name it to the second steel study Oh, yes, it doesn't allow these type of characters. You know what? We're just going to have it at second. All right. Now, moving on to final step, which is the documentation part. We're going to go here and go to Sheets, right-click, New Sheet, Yours might be different than what I have, but I'm pretty sure everyone has an A0 metric cover or an A1. We'll try to use the A0 metric cover. Then, going back to your 3D view and just drag this one right here to document it. Now, it might seem big. To make things smaller, simply click this one and increase the scale to maybe a 500. Oh, that's too small. I guess 200 would be a perfect match. If you still think that 200 is not enough, simply go back here and go to custom and make it to a 300. There we go. All right. Now, I know this seems weird, but simply just do it like so and click your 3D view and so that you can move it here in the middle to make it a little bit better. And click here again, remove the title line to into a title only or no title at all. And lastly, we're going to have the other one as well here. And we'll just align them a bit and change this to 200 as well or 300, whichever we have. Go back to custom and type out 300. All right. And we just have to remove this one. And that's about it. You're missing two more but I'm pretty sure that you can handle that by yourself and that's it for this video for questions and suggestions please do comment below and if you enjoyed or find this tutorial helpful do support me by liking and subscribing I'll see you in the next video thank you very much guys